everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is Emily, um, and I'm here with my friend and new customer, Amanda. Hello. Um, we are, she's letting me do her makeup. So um, we started already before the video, uh, before we decided to actually do this video. Um, she's already put a pea size amount of our Glorious Primer, mm -hmm. uh, applied that to her face, and then applied our um, touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. Color is Velour. And this concealer goes a long way. I mean, this patch right here was like the tiny, not even a pea size, like like a... Like a, a little dot. Like a, the tip of a pen size. Yeah. And that went this much. So this may look small, but this goes a long way. It really does. So that's already applied. So the next step is the, the Touch um, Liquid Foundation. It's amazing. You have to shake it up really well. So you gotta get your shake on. <laughs> <laughs> and it only takes about, um, as I've said in my other videos, about four to five drops, or sometimes you can even do three. It just depends on what you want and how much coverage you would like for your face. So I'm shaking it up. I'm gonna do Amanda. I'm gonna do five. Mm -hmm. That's what I do for me. So I'm gonna do so for her five. So you see my face. My face is. Well, we did put the concealer over, so you really can't even see. You my can see the little right triangles of concealer. But, but. Um, before the concealer was on my skin, I do have a lot of acne. I have acne-prone skin, so. Uh, but that concealer did a really good job of covering that up because actually you can't even see it. I was going to show you. But we we kind of skipped steps. We did steps before we recorded, so yes. we're going to do five drops and one, two, three, four, five. Whoops, five. Okay. You know what? That fifth drop wasn't really a drop. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so then you kind of just, like I've done my skin, you take it and you just dab it everywhere, all over the skin. Everywhere you want to have your foundation. Hopefully my arm fats get in the way. Oh, stop. <laughs> this brush is so soft. It is super soft. Okay, so then you you just do that and you just apply... Now, I am not a makeup artist, so I usually do this to myself. Um, so this is like, this is new for me, doing it to somebody else. So we'll just see how, how good of a makeup artist I am. Man is being a nice little guinea pig. Mm -hmm. And I might sell her on this foundation. <laughs> on how awesome it is. Am I, I'm not hurting you. This is super soft, so I know it's yes, all right. Yes, it's so soft. All right. Get it with my other hand. Seriously, girl, it does look amazing. Amazing. So do we have the same colors? I, we have exactly. Yeah, I've color matched you. You are a velour because it is like, you can't even see that there's foundation. It just looks like flawless. And I just want to make sure I get your eyes really well. Gotta do a little soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I know okay. we need background music. Okay. All right. So that is the foundation. Wow, it is very, very smooth. It looks like it night and day from what my skin looked like ten minutes ago. That is actually amazing, and it does. It matches my skin perfectly. You can see it's the same color. No as lines. My neck. Yeah, there is no lines on your face. And actually, yes. I think it does a really good job of covering up your it does. acne. It really does. It did a great job. And that concealer really helps, too. Yeah, it's a little... Let's see, I'm make sure I did a good blending job with the concealer anyways, the spots that have the concealer. I think that's better. I think I was seeing your um, triangles at first. Got rid of the no. dark circles on my eyes. That's awesome. It works really well. I'm hunched over. Oh, okay, so she's a natural beauty. She doesn't oh, like stop. a lot of, well, no, really, you don't, she doesn't, she wears foundation and she wears concealer, but she generally does not wear, like, mascara. She doesn't wear eyeshadow. She doesn't wear eyeliner. So I'm not going to get to fully make her up. <laughs> what else are we doing? Am I going to attempt the contouring? I have never contoured. I just got my own um sculpting trio. I have the brush. I have the kit. It's amazing. I'm excited to use it. I've not um, done it yet. So 
Do you want me to try? Yes. <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it. So first off, I want to say I, my first order, I my first two orders I placed with Emily were, I actually got the contour kit and a lip bonbon. Um, and it come in, Emily puts it in this cute little bag with her business card in it. So it's pretty. It's very pretty. Very personalized for each of my customers. Yes. Plus, who doesn't love purple? So we're going to take the contour kit out. Can you see Sculpting that? trio. And... Oh my goodness, I've never contoured. I'm excited and a little nervous because if I make her look crazy, it's not my fault. Okay, I've never done this before. So this is what it looks like when I take it out. It's pretty. And it's in a magnetic. This is magnetic. And it's got a mirror. And it's got directions, step one, step two, and step three. And this is the light skin one. There's three different colors. There is the blonde, the brunette, or there's light, medium, and dark. We got the lightest one because we're both very fair skinned. So she's got the light. <sighs> I've not done this before. So okay, yes, we're gonna so, try it. We're gonna. I'm gonna bust my cherry in this sculpting jail. <laughs> so Emily actually has the contour brush. I didn't order it, but that's definitely gonna be my next order. Um, do you want to yeah, so this brush? is the contour brush. Um, and actually, like I said, I've never contoured before, so I'm just going to go with what goes, I'm not sure what goes where. I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning the contouring. So this is a really neat brush, though. It is actually amazing. All of our brushes are, like, amazing. Super soft. Super soft. If you have the foundation brush already or any of the other brushes, they are just insanely soft and they are heavy duty like you can they can take a good you know brushing <laughs> yeah they don't leave little hairs behind you no no it's it's um it's amazing so um all right uh step one we are going to do the um the the outer line so that goes across <laughs> i don't know the terms for this i'm gonna learn luckily so, it shows you exactly it is instruction where. so it goes up around the forehead uh, below your uh, where you would apply your blush and then around the jawline so that is what we're going to do and I'm assuming that this end is going to be for that this, this end right here okay. right let's give it a go would this go here yeah that's what it is this one goes first I'm gonna I have not I should have watched a video on this I haven't done it yet okay so here we go all right I don't know if I need a lot or a little bit. Or how this is gonna go. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna just. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to need more than that. That's gonna have to. Okay. Oh, it's like oh, it's liquidy. It's not powder. I thought that was powder. Wow, it's liquid. Okay, so I really need to scoop in there. I'm assuming that this is the right part of the brush. So. Because it is the firmer part. Those of you that out there are watching this, is, or if you're my wife's sisters, I don't have a live video, so you can't tell me if I'm doing right or wrong, but we're just going from the, I'm shooting from the hip here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to do the dark part. Whoa, okay. So here goes Oh my the gosh. <laughs> Or maybe they, <laughs> that's how it's supposed to look at the picture. It's that Yeah, it, it, does, it, does. it does. I'm not... It'll blend at the end. So. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, we blend at the end. Mm -hmm. Maybe this was the blending part. And, no, this is the blending. I, we'll I'm i assuming out. that yeah, I think that's there's right. got to be an end for... They're all liquidy. Okay. okay. They're, well, cream. They're creams. Excuse me. That's <laughs> wrong term. Okay, so this goes this way. That goes in the, underneath the... What are, the cheekbone underneath the mm -hmm. cheekbone. All right, let's go to the other one. I've done this with powder, like trying to, but never like as it says. So okay, so we're doing both ends. This is gonna be a really long video. Okay, and then the chin and jawbone. Mm -hmm. So we're going to. It appears to make the chin look smaller. 
Not that you really need that, but we're going to... I do have a butt chin. You don't have a butt chin. <laughs> I do. I don't think I can get rid of that, but if, as you can see... Okay. Well, look, it looks like I'm doing a good job so far. Yeah, it really does. I just need to blend. Yeah. Right it now, looks exactly look, like the picture. It kind of looks like Night of the Living Dead-ish right now, <laughs> but it's okay. We're, get, we're working on it. Yeah. All right, so then I'm going to assume the other end I'm going to have to use for the... Unless I can... I don't want to use the same for both. Okay, so this goes all in the middle. Well, yeah, I would probably need it too. Yeah, you need it. So I would dab it on your um, yeah, wipe. my shine wipe. Shine wipe. Take my shine wipe and just clean it off. Again, this could be totally wrong procedure, but I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna have to do the brow area. Ooh, that's a lot. You can tell that's on the brush. Mm -hmm. So a little triangle there. And this is for really light skinned people like us, so you're not gonna see it everywhere, I don't think. And right over the brow. Right over the brow. Down the nose. Oh! One thing I did forget was um, you do the dark by the nose too. You see, oh, yeah. I missed your nose. That's all right, we can go I back. can go back. Yep. But we'll, we'll just go this step first. Okay, so lighting. Right there, this is the highlight part under the eyes where you actually said you have problems. Mm -hmm. Right here to lighten it up. <laughs> this is funny. I don't do anybody's makeup but my own, so this is a very good, very good experience. And actually, Dana, want, Dana wants me to do her makeup too, so. So I'll already have practice time with you. She wants a contour? She well no, she wants she wants me to come and do makeup with her and show her things. So this will just be more experience. I'll show her contouring. Maybe she would benefit from it. I don't know. I think everybody would benefit from contouring. Yes. If you know how to do it correctly. So let's hope I do it correctly. I'm just saying I think I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a little triangle right here to highlight. Mm -hmm. And a little bit on my, um, right here. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Right above the cupid's bow, I think that's called. Yeah. Right on the cupid's bow. Probably to highlight and in indent, like that area right there. Okay. All right. And then. So that was the highlight. Let me go back and do the dark on your nose. Yes. Okay. I put this, the pointy end, so. The little, the little tip of your nose, you kind of, I don't like the nose. I have an Eskimo nose, so any you contour will nose. help. You have a cute nose. So we want to do more dark on the outer part of the nose than if you want it to appear. Even though it's not big. It's a little bit chunky. No, it's cute. Can you see it? You can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All righty. Let me do a little bit more just because I have it on the brush. Okay. Then we're going to do the highlighting part, I believe, or I don't know which one this is called. We're just, <laughs> it has pictures. It doesn't have like Names. word instructions. Yeah. So those of you out there who are contouring experts know what I'm, we're talking about are probably laughing right now, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. So this goes underneath your brow. Oh, right there. Just a little bit of sparkle. top. This is like the highlight part. Top. Where else? Nose, middle of nose, and also Cupid's bow. Okay. Okay. 
it's a mess anyways. sure I did it really good. Oh, and the nose. Okay, let's see. All right, did I do it? Did it look good? <gasps> You're contoured. I did it. We did it. Yay. Okay, it looks really good, actually. It does. It looks I can so see good. your cheek. I can see the dark. Under your cheek, like right here, mm -hmm. where it kind of it really accentuates yeah, your cheekbones. Yeah, it does. You can see it. It looks like it makes my face look skinnier. Mm -hmm. Right here, and your nose too. Yes, my nose does. Look you can skinnier. see the, mm -hmm. you can see the where yeah, the dark where the, goes, right. and it highlights just the middle. Mm -hmm. And you could probably get like a teenier brush and actually do it even more detailed before you blend. Yes, so that is the full look, um, actually. And then I want to. This I'm so excited about. The red velvet cake lip bonbon. Can you see that? So, my lips have been so chapped, and so lipstick is not doing it. But this is like a tinted, moisturizing lip balm. It's really big, actually. For days that you want some color, but you want some moisture, and mm -hmm. you don't want to wear a lipstick or a lip gloss. Yes. <gasps> oh no, my battery's like, ah, oh, 15%. So this is something I'm going to keep at my desk at work and apply, like, all day long. Keep it on me to keep my um, lips moisturized. So that's how much you get. Quite a bit. It's super cute. Let's see it. And you can actually use it as a blusher too. So if you wanted a little rosy in your cheeks, does it taste good? I have not mm, yet used them. It does. So. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. It is really pretty. And it's we just have the perfect amount of too. color. Oh, I love it. Pretty. Hey. Love it. And it's very moisturizing, it's very soft. All right, so that is it for now. Um, we have, I have made up Amanda's face. I've contoured for the first time ever, so that's super exciting. Um, and if you guys have any questions, definitely drop them in the comments, shoot me a message, and I would be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Um, I will do another live coming up soon. I didn't have time to do one this morning, but this video should be posted and Thank you, Amanda, for showing off the goodies that you got and um, letting me paint your face. All right. You guys have a good day or good night. <laughs> Bye. Bye.